Here's Stuart Sink. He is, of course, the British Open champion. All right, now, uh, again, you, you, you missed the putt on 17 and you bogeyed 16, and you still had the wherewithal to get the job done on 18. A lot of times, you haven't won one yet, you haven't won a major yet. You've been a very good player without a major. 36 years of age, right? Yeah. So, you know, you're in the prime of your career. So to have the wherewithal, to, and that's a t- we all know how hard that hole is, to have the wherewithal to birdie that hole after a couple of missed opportunities on the two previous holes, that's a step up as far as the mental capacity is concerned to win a big major championship. Oh, the, the way I looked at that, I just felt like I was working real hard with my pre-shot routine trying to lean on that and not lean on the results of my shots. Because when you start leaning on the results of your shots under pressure, that's when you, you just ride the emotional roller coaster too much. And then putts that are towards the end of the round start to mean more to you than the ones at the beginning of the round. And That's when you get in trouble. That's when you get in trouble. So if uh, if the way I thought to handle that the best was just to keep on making everything feel the same and and leave the meaning the same and not let anything get too ratcheted up in, for, in importance. And uh, on the 18th hole, I even turned to my caddy before the putt, and I was joking with him and said, uh, you think this is a good time to abandon my pre-shot routine? And he said, he kind of laughed at me and said, no, go ahead. Knock it in. And I knocked it in. It was and great. you knew it was going in, too, because you put that club in the air a little yeah. before that ball was going in the cup there, Stuart. You know that? I did. And it, when I looked up, you know, it was right on line, and it had good speed, and it just looked like there's no way it was going to miss. And so that was just an instinctive thing. I I don't know if I've ever done that another time in my life. Uh, what's this? Has it sunk in yet? What's this mean to you? Well, part of it has. You know, the, the, the golf tournament part of it, where I, I, I perform well, and I... I went out and I, I won the tournament in the playoff and I did all the things I needed to do. Yeah, that sunk in right away because I've been there before and it just I know what it feels like to to accomplish that goal. But the uh, the enormity of of the the claret jug and the um, the history with the Open Championship, all the names that go back to 1860. That won't sink in for any time real soon. Well, now you have it. You know, you get that first one out of the way. Sometimes they come in bunches. You know, you get that first one. Yeah. You know, you hit that first home run. All of a sudden, you hit five in a week. You forget. I mean, you are you are talented to win these majors. You're only thirty. You got you got plenty of. You could put together winning four to six here in the next. And you can play all these tournaments. You play well at the U.S. Open. You can play the Masters. You write a couple. Of, you have it. You can do everything. So from that standpoint, you got a chance to win here five or six. And this will be really good for my confidence. You know, with. Um, on the course, that'll that'll be what changes me after this Open Championship is that I know I've done it under the biggest pressure and on the biggest stage, and that will be something I carry on with. As far as me, the person, I don't see it changing me. I've been out here a long time doing this, and uh, I am who I am. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but I kind of wish that all these majors were lined up in a row right now because I'm feeling like a pretty feel good, good delta confidence. Yeah, yeah, <laughs>